March is Colon Cancer Awareness Month. After Kirstie Alley passed away shortly after her diagnosis, it was already in stage four. It's the second leading cancer killer, but what many of us don't know is you can survive or actually avoid colon cancer altogether if it's caught early. Steve Marler with Advanced Body Scan shares how their virtual colonoscopy and other imaging can conveniently catch top killers like colon cancer, lung cancer, and heart disease way before symptoms appear and early enough to save your life. Steve, uh, I was looking at the calendar. Time flies when you're having fun. It's been just over a year since I had my last scan, but you say we should have a full body scan. How often? It's an annual scan. We need to do it every year. The reason is these diseases are slow progressive diseases. They don't show up in symptoms sometimes for months or years in the body, but we can detect them at very early stages. So if you get this scan, a base scan and an annual scan every year, we can look for those telltale signs. All right, I don't need to take my shoes off. You're dressed just like you are. All right, don't need You're to drink any to weird dyes or anything like that? No needles, no dyes. We're gonna put a couple of diodes on your wrist. You're gonna go in and out of this machine a couple of times. As a matter of fact, we've got our number one tech here, Mr. Frank, today, and he's gonna show you this entire process quickly. All right, hit it, Frank. And then if there's nothing crazy wrong, we'll receive our results within a week or two? Five to seven days. These guys look at the images immediately. If they see something that's exciting or needs to be addressed right away, they will alert the doctors and they'll be giving you a call. It's a call you don't want to have. That's why you need, we need to do these annually. All right, so that was really easy. Uh, Steve, the reason why I'm, I'm proactive in my health and I love this technology is not because I think it's just fun to do, but the last thing I wanna do is be in a hospital bed saying if I had just gotten in a few months earlier or, or a year earlier so I could have a better control of the outcome. Some cancers kind of come at us and you gotta work with it as you can. Other things like colon cancer, we have more control over than we think. Colon cancer is one of the cancers that has a high success rate of recovery if you find it at an early stage. Very high, actually, higher than most other cancers. You all do it a little bit differently than the traditional colonoscopy. We do. As a matter of fact, you're gonna lay on this table that you just got off of for your body scan, and you're going to do some prep the night before. The, the key things to the virtual colonoscopy as opposed to the regular scope is one, there's no anesthesia. So, you know, personally, the anesthesia, I use it, I lose a day and a half of my life. Yeah, well, so, I remember the last time I got one done, they said, you know, you can't drive, so somebody has to drive you and drop correct. you off, and then somebody has to take you back exactly home. Exactly right. And, you, and you're right, you kind of are out of it. You don't have to deal with that Just here. like right now, you would come in, they would do the scan, and you would get up and leave. You could walk out the door and drive yourself home. You could get another scan next door. We have a new, some new technology as well. The risks of the scope, which now they are low, but the risk of perforation is very prevalent. And there's also risk of infection from improperly clean tools because believe it or not, they don't use that scope one time. That scope has been there in, at, it's been used before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is a very low risk procedure. It's very comfortable. And another key element of it, when you're doing a virtual colonoscopy, you can not only see the inside of the colon, but we can zoom out and see the outside. And I was just speaking to Dr. Anthony Sparks, our radiologist, about the differences in these scans. And he said a lot of times colon cancer starts as a tumor on the outside of the colon. And that's not what a traditional colonoscopy is looking at. Can't see it. Can't see it from the outside. So we can fly all the way to the end of the colon, and then we can actually pull out and go the entire length as well to look at the outside. Yeah. It's Colon Cancer Awareness Month, and there's another message you want to get home to people, and that is don't expect for symptoms to tell you that something's wrong. Now, symptoms can tell you that something's wrong, but don't rely on that because usually it's too late by then. The body is a miraculous machine, and it compensates for many, many weeks, sometimes months and years, when these deadly diseases are manifesting in our body. If we can Find them early, and I've said this 100,000 times. Find it early, we can fix it early and have a better outcome. We can see it at early stages with this technology. If you get this scan on an annual basis, your opportunity to find it at an early stage and the percentage of outcome tremendously increases yeah. for better outcomes. Adding years to your life and quality of life. Yes, ma'am.